This video is in response to a comment in a recent video about my bitter herbal course, an idea that I'm trying to talk about to explain to you, which is I would call it a bitter principle. Now, the question was about leaning into our own bitterness, that idea. And what I'm trying to get across is the idea we live in a society surrounded by sugar, sweetness, and all sorts of mood-altering experiences and substances and that's why so much so many people are addicted and they're trying to lean out of their bitter and lean into the sweet society expects us to be sweet nice pleasant uh, non-critical non-judgmental non-questioning so that it's a way of numbing the population if people don't question and think and probe their own emotions so by leaning into the bitter, we begin to taste bitter herbs. And bitter herbs allow us to digest better. But by tasting better, by digesting, by tasting bitterness, we embrace our own suffering. We embrace the pain that we have been running from. It's an intentional effort to lean in to our bitterness by tasting bitters. But not only does it happen psychologically, at a physical level, our digestion improves. We need bitters to release bile, digestive fluids that enhance our digestion, that move our digestion. So bitters are naturally good for our digestion and good for our health. Anything that's good for our digestion is good for our nervous system. When our, nervous, when our digestion is blocked, our nervous system gets sluggish. We get uh, low mood, we get cravings, we get depression, we get anxiety. When our gut microbiome is healthy, our, our digestion is moving, bitters are helping that. We get a more alert nervous system, more attentive, more tuned, more concentration, less anxious, less craving, less depressed, more happiness, more joy, more, more whatever it is going on in our lives at that time. So by embracing the bitter principle, which is to lean into bitters, to taste bitters, have that coffee without sugar, as I've started to do myself. I love sugar. I love leaning into the sugar, numbing myself. We all have different ways of numbing ourselves, but by leaning into the bitters, we intentionally reorientate ourselves towards challenging, facing the, the challenges of life, the suffering that life brings us. We cannot divide suffering. Modern life tries to sell us this concept, this, uh, this myth that you can avoid suffering. We cannot avoid suffering. Suffering is a natural part of life. It's by leaning into it, accepting our suffering, we begin to experience life in a different way. But by leaning out of our suffering, by trying to numb our suffering, numb our pain, we avoid the realities of life. We store up problems for the future. We don't live in a balanced way. We sedate ourselves. We put our head in the sand and we're not happy. So in my course, I'm going to be talking to you about this bitter principle by embracing accepting bitterness in our own lives, our own suffering, by processing that, by di digesting that. Our herbs, bitter herbs will help us to digest at a physical level, but at an emotional level, psychological level also. Also, we need our supports. We need to practice meditation, mindfulness. We need to pray. We need to talk. We need to connect socially. So that's it. I hope you find this interesting. And if you do, check out the waitlist connection below and you can join the waitlist. My course will be launched at the end of September. Medicinal bitters, botanical medicinal bitters. I'm still trying to sort out that name. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments what you think. Ask me questions and I'll get back to you there. And I'll see you in a video very soon. Take care. Bye.